Okay, my name is Eric Windheim. I am a building biologist and an electromagnetic radiation specialist. We're here today at a very old home built in the 1940s. We had extreme level magnetic fields going underneath the bedroom of like 15 to 22 milligauss. So EMF electrician Dylan LeCare has identified the problem and he's going to explain what we found and what we did to solve it. Go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, we just um, identified the outlets in this older house that were grounded, knowing that there could be some uh, some miswired grounds. Um, and I found there were three or four outlets in here that were, were grounded um, in, in the kitchen area and in the bathroom area, which makes sense. In this particular case, they had the, the current carrying grounded conductors, the neutrals right here, spliced together with um, the ground, the equipment grounds here. So what's wrong with that, Dylan? Well, it creates parallel paths to ground if there's a load on the circuit, which there was. So like the refrigerator, although this plug, this outlet wasn't being used by the fridge directly, the, the, it's on the same circuit and the current from the fridge travels through these wires and then on down the line all the way back to the main panel. Is this a violation of California Electric Code? Yeah, it's parallel paths to ground. You're using the you're, you're the only the only um, location that the ground that the grounds and the neutrals are allowed and required to be connected is at the main service um, or any separately derived system like a transformer or something like that, which really doesn't apply to houses too okay. often. And how often do you see this kind of mistake, Dylan? Oh, we see it a few times on, on the jobs you and I have work, worked on together. Um, and the thing about this is you would never know that because the lights will still come on and the power still works. But by having parallel paths to ground, as you know, you're, you're creating a magnetic field because the current gets separated right. in, in different locate, go in different directions, which causes a magnetic field. So the big risk is here, even though lights work, it's a fire risk. It's a shock risk, according to California Electric Code, and it's also a big health hazard yeah. that a building biologist uh, is concerned about reducing for his client. So once again, this is Eric Windheim and Dylan LeCare. We do this kind of work every day. Thank you. Check in later.